All right, welcome back to another episode of How to Algebra. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve exponential equations, meaning equations that have x, the variable, in the exponent. So if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, let me know what you think, and let's get it. Okay, so solving exponential equations. So the variable is going to be in the exponent and it's an equation. So we're going to solve for X. So the idea, there's really three big ideas, I guess, two really, and then one involving E. So the two ideas, one of the two ideas is that I want to rewrite I want to rewrite the equation so that the bases, right, that the bases match, are the same base, right? Base meaning, so like right now, 27 is equal to 81 to the x power, 81 being the base and x being the exponent. Um, I want to rewrite it so that the base of each number matches so what i'm saying is is that you have to somehow think okay i need a number that's raised to a power that equals 27 right typically it's going to be two through six um those are going to be the numbers that come up most often all right so the idea is that 27 can be rewritten as three cubed, right? Three times three is nine times three is 27. And I wanna somehow write 81 as base three as well. So it's gonna be four. And this is still to the X power, right? All we did was rewrite 81 as three to four. So when you have a power that's raised to a power, you multiply the exponent. So this is gonna be three cubed, three to the four X, right? Cause four times X. All right, so because the bases match in a sense, we don't really care about the bases anymore. Like, so can you actually like cancel them out like this? No, not necessarily, but for the purpose of this video, the idea is that w we don't care about them. Like, I don't care. So x is equal not x should be three right because three cubed okay x is equal to oh i said it again three is equal to four x right the exponents need to be equal so solving for x x is equal to three fourths so again, rewriting the bases so that they match. That's the idea. Okay, number two. So 16 right off the bat is going to be 4 squared, right? 4 times 4 is 16. So I've kind of like locked myself into 4. So I want to write 64 base 4 to some exponent. So... 4 cubed, 16 times 4, and that is still raised to the x minus 5 exponent. So again, I'm multiplying the exponent. So in a sense, I'm distributing this. So it's going to be 4, 3x minus 15 is equal to 4 squared right and we don't really care about the bases all i care about is that the exponents are equal to each other right and the only way i can do this is because the bases match like that's very important if this was like base something else right right if it feels like two to the fourth power because two times two is four times two is eight times two is 16 if this was two to the fourth power i couldn't do 
like I couldn't do this, right? The bases have to match is is the point. So plus fifteen. 3x is equal to 17. So x is equal to 17 thirds. 17 thirds. Okay. The next idea is that when you have a fraction, right, I wanna I wanna be able to write the fraction as just a whole number. Right? I don't want a fraction, I want a whole number. So I'm gonna use the fact that two to the negative one power is one over two, right? So this means that two to the negative one power raised to five X is equal to, now I've already used two as my base. So that's what I want to use here. This is going to be, so eight is really two, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, so 2 cubed. And then x minus 4 is the exponent. All right, multiplying the exponents, right, you get 2 to the negative 5x equals, I'm going to distribute 2 3x minus 12. Again, the bases match. So negative 5x is equal to 3x minus 12. Combining like terms, negative 8x is equal to negative 12. Solving for x. x is equal to positive 4 over, so not four over this would be six over four which is basically three over two so x is equal to three over two <clears throat> okay again just like the last problem the fact that it's a fraction i can rewrite it <clears throat> as a whole number the fact is that five to the negative one is really one fifth. So that means five to the negative one power x plus one is the exponent. Okay, we have to write five to some power equals six twenty five. So I believe it's four. Five times five is twenty five. Times five is one twenty five. Times five is six twenty five. So yes, fourth. Okay, distributing because we're multiplying the exponents. So base five, negative x, negative one is equal to five to the fourth power. We don't care about the bases. Okay, this is gonna be plus one. So negative x is equal to five. Therefore, x is equal to negative 5. Okay, and I mean, it's real repetitive. So, I feel like we can just go straight to it. All right, 6 to the negative 1 power times, or raised to the negative x minus 5. That's going to distribute. Then... 6 squared x plus 4 exponent and that's going to distribute so this is going to be positive 3x positive 5 is equal to 2x plus 8 right I'm already I'm skipping a step like once you start to get nice you can you know what corners to cut so this is going to be x plus 5 is equal to 8. x is equal to 3. That's nice. It's a whole number, finally. Thank you. All right. So let's get to this one. All right. It can 
be intimidating for sure. Um, E is just a number, like pi, right? It's just a number. However, the properties of exponents still apply. So what I want to do is get this down to e to something is equal to e to something else, right? If I can get it to like e to the x is equal to e to some number, then the e's will cancel. That's the, that's what I want to do. So we got a ways to go. So there are a couple different ways. Um, so one idea is to distribute. Uh, one idea would be to bring this up. And then distribute, right? There's, there's so many ways to do this. It, it all depends on how comfortable you are with your algebra skills. So at a glance, just looking at this thing, the eyesore for me is the fraction, right? Like, I just don't want to look at it. it. How do we alleviate this, right? And because this is negative x, I can reorient it by moving it to the numerator by making it positive. You know, if it was already positive, I could move it to the numerator by making it negative, right? You, you change the, the sign of the exponent and it moves orientation to, from the denominator to the numerator. So what I'm saying is e to the x, e to the x plus e, right? And this is really e to the one, it's implied. Then e to the x plus e to the four x. It's all being divided, therefore it needs to all be multiplied by e to the positive x, right? e to the positive x. All I did was move this up and change it to positive. And now it has to be multiplied by everything. Okay, I can distribute. You can distribute and combine like terms and then subtract and add, that's, that's fine. Me personally, if it's multiplication, right, it, it's almost like a GCF, right? If I, if I divide both sides by e to the x, right? I can do anything I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides of the equal sign, that's the rule. So the thing I want to do is divide both sides by e to the x. So when I do that, e to the x cancels, e to the x cancels. And we have this, we've like unlocked the parentheses basically. We don't need the parentheses anymore. The parentheses were there to signify that e to the x had to be multiplied. But now that they're gone, we don't care about the parentheses. Um, I want to combine the things that are similar. I'm going to subtract e to the x from both sides. So if I had e to the x and I take e to the x away, I'm just going to get zero. I mean, not going to get anything. So we have e is equal to e to the 4x. So remember, it's implied that this is a 1, e to the first power. So now that I have the same bases, I really don't care about the bases. I don't care if it's e. It, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is that 1 is equal to 4x. So solving for x, divide both sides by 4. x is equal to 1 fourth. So it's kind of interesting how the exponent properties. So if, if you haven't already, I have a video on exponent properties where I go over the different properties of exponents. So you apply them just like you would normally it just it just so happens that the base is e right it, it just so happens but all the properties apply so that's the last example um be on the lookout for the homework it's about to drop so peace